Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV News from Tainan Radio and Television Station. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, in the morning of November 19, the Economic and Budget Board of the Provincial People Council held a meeting to verify related contents of the Economic and Budget Review to submit to the 14th session of the 19th Provincial People Council from 2016-2021. Mr. Mai Van Hai, head of the Economic and Budget Board, Provincial People Council chaired the conference. Attending the meeting, there was Ms. Phan Thi Diep, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People Council. Members of the Economic and Budget Board of the Ding Provincial People's Council and functional agencies have considered and commented on draft resolution on land acquisition to implement social economic development projects for the national and public interest in Ding Province in 2020. Accordingly, the Economic and Budget Board agreed with the content of the draft resolution submitted by the Provincial People's Committee. The total number of projects with land acquisition for implementation of social economic development projects for national and public interest under the jurisdiction of the Provincial People's Council is 41, with a total land area of more than 535 hectares. Particularly, the draft resolution on promulgating the price list of land types applicable to Tening Province from 2020 to 2024. Members of the Economic and Budget Board said that if the land price table is not close to the market price, it will create difficulties for people upon land acquisition for project implementation. However, many delegates said that it's necessary to increase land price with a roadmap. If increasing many times, it will create instability in the implementation process. Mr. Mai Van Hai, head of the Economic and Budget Board of Provincial People's Council, proposed the Department of Natural Resources and Environment to clarify the basis for setting up land rights lead. It's necessary to study and consult with the Provincial People's Committee where the land price is high but the road is not profitable, so the land price table should be built moderately. In the morning of November 19, the Amma District Party Committee held a conference to deploy the requirements of the Central Province and District abroad organizing the Party Congress at all levels. Head of the Organization Commission of District Party Committee introduced content of the Treaty No. 35 of the Politburo Plan No. 154 of the Provincial Party Executive Committee. On the Party Congress at all levels toward the 13 National Party Congress, article written by Comrade General Secretary and President of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, the plan of the District Party Executive Committee, the plan of the District Standing Committee, on the reviewing, evaluating, and quality ranking for party organization, party members, collectives, individuals, and management leaders at all levels in 2019. Evaluate the classification of party organization, party members, and management leaders for the term 2015-2020. Mr. Trung Nhật Quang, Secretary of Dangba District Party Committee, directed the party committee needs to focus on implementing the plan, drafting documents and documents, setting up subcommittee and working groups, formulating personal plans, and meeting conditions to ensure the spirit of the directive number 35 of the Central Executive Committee. On November 19, the delegation of Hoàn District People Council, led by Mr. Yung Văn Lân, Standing Vice Chairman of District People Council, supervised the reception, settlement of complaints and denunciation of citizens in Long Thành Trung Camille and Hoa Thành Thao from January 1, 2019 to September 30, 2019. At the meeting, the leader of Long Thành Trung Camille briefed that the total number of visits to citizens is 36, received six applications, and Hoa Thanh Thao received citizen 38 times, received six complaints, denunciations, and requests. Citizen petitions, letters, complaints, and denunciations have been classified by common citizen reception offices, considered transferring to the competent agency for timely settlement and handling. In addition, cases are not in the right address, order, and procedures are guided and explained by citizen reception officers according to regulations. 
at each monitoring place, the leaders of Long Thuận Trung Common People's Committee and the town and related departments and agencies further explain the concerns and questions of the monitoring team members regarding a number of local complaints and denunciations in recent years. For a number of difficulties and problems of localities, the delegation will take note to make recommendations consistent with the District People's Committee for Adjustment. In the morning of November 19, the Test Department held a conference to deploy a new test policy and have a dialogue with business in the first quarter of 2019. The test department has implemented a number of contents of newly amended and supplemented test policy, such as curricular number 66 and curricular number 110 of the Ministry of Finance, some regulations on electronic transaction in the test field, implementation of electronic task device system will be applied from 2020. The re number 79 of the government amended Article 16 of the re 45 NDCB date. May 15, 2014, of the Government on Collection of Lands Youth Fees. On this occasion, leaders of the Tax Department award 15 certificates of merit from the Province of People Committee, two certificates of the merit from the General Department of Tax Station, and six certificates of merit from the Department of Tax of the Province to enterprises that were implemented at tax law policy in 2018. In the afternoon of November 19, the Tening Department of Science and Technology revealed a program to coordinate activities with the Youth Union and the Farmers Association of Tening Province. Implementing the program of coordinating science and technology activities in 2019, the Center of Science and Technology carried out a transfer of models to the Provincial Youth Union and Farmers Association of Tening Province such as model of organic vegetable cultivation, household waste treatment model, sprout vegetable model, and a balani mushroom cultivation model. Through the coordination program, equip the farmers' association and youth union member with the basic knowledge, create shape eco-friendly products, and generate income for individuals and families. At the same time, through model transfer classes, it's also propaganda for members and union members at all levels to apply scientific and technical advances in daily life. In the coming time, the Department of Science and Technology will continue the program to coordinate activity with the Youth Union and the Farmers Association of the Province in transferring models applying science and technology in accordance with the reality of each locality. Ladies and gentlemen, on the occasion of the 37th anniversary of Vietnam Teacher Day, November 20, 1982, November 20, 2019, in the afternoon, November 19, 2019, the Directorate of the Nguyen Radio and Television Station visited and congratulated official teacher staffs of the educational center in the province. At the Nguyen Department of Education and Training, the two sister leaders had an intimate, talk about glorious tradition the royal contributions of the teacher to the career of teaching. On this occasion, the Directorate of the Nguyen Radio and Television Station offered flower packets, gifts, and expressed deep gratitude to all the education sector officials, teachers, and staff, and expressed the hope that the two sisters will promote better coordination with the cohesion in the coming term. On the same day, the Directorate of the Indian Radio and Television Station also visited, congratulated, and attended the Thanksgiving ceremony on the occasion of Vietnam Teacher Days of the Indian TTC Intermediate School. In the joyful atmosphere to celebrate Vietnam Teacher Days, the Directorate of the Indian Radio and Television Station offered flower baskets, gifts, and sent congratulations to school officials, teacher, and staff. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for being with us, and goodbye for now.